Hello everyone. Now we are going to discuss about agro ecosystem. Unit 1 Environmental Concern. The subject is Environmental and Agriculture. Our objective is to emphasize on the importance of environment and agriculture, on changing global scenario and emerging issues connected to it. So what is ecosystem? An ecosystem is a community of living organisms in combination with the non-living components of their environment interacting as a system. So there are two components of an ecosystem is abiotic and biotic. Abiotic components are sunlight, temperature, precipitation, water, moisture, soil. Biotic components are primary producers, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, retitivores. So, we need to discuss about agro-ecosystem. So, agro-ecosystem is the basic unit of study in agroecology and is somewhat arbitrary. It also biophysical and socio-economic components, boundaries and hierarchies, structure and function, history and legacy. So here the concept of agro-ecosystem, agriculture plus ecosystem is agro-ecosystem. Agro-ecosystem is a spatially and functionally coherent unit of agriculture activity which includes the living and non-living components involved in that unit as well as their interaction. So here the components of an agro-ecosystem from the sunlight the crops its primary producers. So from the crops nutrient and energy received from human input, crops, nutrient and energy to animal and animal products. So energy and nutrient to consumption and market, energy and nutrient to herbivores, energy and nutrient from the crops, some decomposes. So from animals and animal product, recycle or losses may happen, consumption and market losses may happen, herbivores to carnivores, from the carnivores, nutrient and energy shuffle to decomposes, decomposes to carnivores. And also from the atmosphere and rain penetrated to the soil and some losses may happen. So biotic components of an ecosystem is the living component of an ecosystem are called the biotic components. Some of these factors include plants, animals as well as a fungi and bacteria. These bacteria components can be further classified based on the energy requirement sources. So ecosystem divided into two components, biotic abiotic components. So biotic components divided into three producers, consumers, decomposers. So consumers divided into three parts, primary consumer, secondary consumer, territory consumer. In previous slide, we seen the abiotic components, air, water, wind, soil, temperature and rainfall. So here, sustainable agriculture. So sustainable agriculture is a type of agriculture that focus on producing long term crops and livestock while having minimal effect on the environment. 
this type of agriculture tries to find a good balance between the need for food production and the preservation of the ecological system within the environment so the sustainable agriculture contains society people environment and economy and next one is agroecology and the design of sustainable agro ecosystem so it's combining the different components of the farm system that is plant animals soil water climate and people so that they balance each other and have the greatest possible effort and also it's reduce the use of of farm external and non renewable inputs it's relying mainly on resources within the agro ecosystem by replacing external inputs it improving the match between cropping pattern and the productive potential and environmental constraints of climate and landscape so agro ecosystem contains agriculture and environmental so next the main topic is sustainable agro ecosystem so what is a yes, sustainable ag- agro ecosystem a yes, sustainable agro ecosystem is environmentally sound economically viable socially just and meet the needs of the present without without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs and also it maintains the resource base on which it depends relies on a minimum of artificial inputs and also it manage pests and diseases through internal regulating mechanism so thank you